Regeneration is a natural process by which living organisms repair or replace damaged or lost cells, tissues or organs, restoring their structure and function. It ranges from biological mechanisms of healing of minor wounds and the regrowth of entire body parts in some species. Regeneration plays a vital role in maintaining health and life across various organisms. Understanding its mechanisms holds significant implications for regenerative medicine. Regeneration in Plants Plants possess remarkable regenerative abilities in various parts of their structures, enabling them to recover from damage or stress. They can regenerate from cuttings or fragments to develop into new plants under favorable conditions. Many plants can regenerate damaged tissues such as roots, stems and leaves through specialized cells called meristems, which contain undifferentiated cells or stem cells, capable of continuous divisions and differentiation. Regeneration in Lower Animals Regeneration in lower animals such as flatworms and salamanders show remarkable abilities to regenerate lost or damaged body parts. Particularly species like planarians exhibit extraordinary regenerative capabilities, being able to regenerate complete organisms from tiny body fragments. Their remarkable regenerative capacity is attributed to the presence of pluripotent stem cells called neoblasts, which proliferate and differentiate to replace lost tissues. Similarly, slamanders possess impressive regenerative abilities, with some species capable of regrowing lost limbs, tails and spinal cords, and even parts of their hearts and brains. This remarkable step involves the activation of specialized cells at the site of injury, which undergoes dedifferentiation and proliferation to form blastema, a mass of undifferentiated cells, capable of giving rise to new tissues. In humans, regeneration occurs at a limited extent compared to flatworms and salamanders, but it still plays an important role in healing and tissue repair. The human body has some capacity to regenerate certain tissues and organs. For example, skin can regenerate to repair minor wounds. The liver can regenerate to restore its functions after injury or partial removal. Tissue regeneration primarily occurs through two main mechanisms. Mitosis of existing cells and the activity of stem cells. Mitosis involves the division of existing cells to produce new cells, allowing for the replacement of damaged or lost tissues. This process is particularly prominent in the skin and epithelial tissues lining the surfaces of the organs. However, many other tissues in the human bodies have limited mitotic ability or lack the capacity for mitosis altogether. For example, nervous tissue including neurons in the brain and spinal cord, typically do not undergo mitosis in adults. Similarly, mature muscle cells have limited mitotic capacity. In these tissues, regeneration primarily relies on the activity of stem cells. The regenerative capacity of stem cells in humans is not unlimited. Additionally, the regenerative potential of stem cells can decline with age or in certain disease conditions. Another difference from lower tax size, humans lack pluripotent stem cells in their body after embryonic stage. So stem cells have less potential compared to lower animals.